Hey guys, and welcome to my episode 8 of Sonic Let's Play Generations thing with lots of words that I can't seem to pronounce. So let's try it again. Hey guys, welcome to my Let's Play of Sonic Generations episode 8. And this time we're going to be tackling the second to last actual stage in the game, Planet... Well, second to last actual stage in the game by that being it's Act 1 of 2 of the last stage in the game. Sonic... Planet Wisp from Sonic Colors. Yeah, that I am having a hard time keeping my thoughts together right now. Please forgive me. So, for those of you who may or may not remember Sonic Colors, I would hope you did. It came out for the Wii. Granted, that console wasn't exactly the best. I had one, and I liked it. And, you know, I bought it for Smash Bros, because that's what everyone buys a Wii for. But, anyway. So, Sonic Generations wasn't a bad game. I didn't exactly care for it that much. Um... I got it, I played it, I didn't beat it, and I never touched it again. I didn't not like it as a game, but um, I kind of got it at that point where the Wii was kind of already not really doing it for me, and I had just started to get into PC gaming like really, really heavily, so it probably wasn't the best time for me to grab an exclusive game for a console and um, expect it to keep my attention on something that was already pretty inferior to begin with. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Wii was a great console, but I mean, guys, let's be honest with ourselves here, it was... Nintendo was always behind in terms of technology. Except maybe this time around with the Switch. <clears throat> they might be a little behind technologically with the Switch, like in terms of being able to render graphics and whatnot, but... In terms of having advanced hardware, oh, they are far, they are, they are far ahead of the curve. <laughs> it's, it's, it's rather impressive. Uh, they have officially managed to make a console that is both a portable console and a home console successfully marketable. I didn't think that would be I didn't think that would be possible. I thought just having that gimmick alone and expecting people to rely on it would already push it into a uh, screw that zone, but no. Apparently a lot of people really really like the Switch and apparently it's doing really 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 well. <laughs> so uh yeah. I am actually kind of happy to be eating my words on that one. That said, um, I'm still predominantly a PC gamer these days, unfortunately. Uh, the last console I got was a Wii U, and again, I actually did like the Wii U. I, I enjoyed it, but again, I only got it for one game, and it's the only game I own for the system to this day! <laughs> uh, Zombie U. No, it was Smash Bros. <laughs> Yeah, it was a pretty good game. I like Smash 4. It's not bad. Play it with some friends. I play an alright Sonic. Yeah. But that said, we are actually, if I remember correctly, we're nearing the end of this level, I hope. Because for the love of God, the one thing they could not manage to keep... Er, the one thing that really, really pissed me off about this level was how fucking long it is. Oh. My God. I did not physically think that I could be this fucking fed up with a Sonic level, but the Planet Wisp levels are just too stupid. They're just too long. Both of them. It takes five minutes to complete each one at least. It's, it's just, it's, it's nuts. It is not cool. <laughs> I do not appreciate not being able to complete a mission or a level in three minutes. It's one of the big reasons I hated Titanic Monarch Zone and Sonic Mania. Oh my god, that level is freaking long. It's like seven minutes per act. But, ah! Uh, also, a lot of the, uh, the, uh, gimmicks and obstacles in the stage are kind of dicks. Just, just one of those side note things. Uh, and the missiles, the missiles, all the missiles. I, I don't like the missiles. I don't know why that worked, but that worked, so we're gonna go with it. Ugh. I really don't like... Uh, this is... This is... Like I said, it's not a bad level, but... Out of every level design that I feel like Sega dropped the ball with, this is the one I feel like they dropped the ball with the most. Planet Wisp is just not fun. Not to me. If you like it, more power to you. I don't. I, I am not a fan of Planet Wisp. It is... It is... It is annoying. Using the... Using using the spike puzzles is just annoying. I, I, I just I don't like it. And I sound like a four-year-old complaining. It's annoying. It's annoying. I don't like it. I don't like it. Why? Because it's annoying. Why is it annoying? Because I don't like it. 
Yeah, I don't like long levels, I don't like long puzzles, and I don't like basically limiting my speed for the sake of completing a puzzle that I don't feel like belongs in a Sonic game. But, you know, that's just me. Sonic platforming levels have never really felt like the... I felt like the extent of a platforming... or of a puzzle in a platforming level in a Sonic game should be pushing a block out of the way. Like, I, I, I just... I, I'm just... I'm just being honest. <laughs> But we have finally completed level 5 minutes and 30 seconds in, and Jesus Christ. <sighs> He's Planet Wisp. Planet Wisp is like a marathon. But for being such long levels, at least they give you a Chaos Emerald at the end. Oh yeah, that's right, we have three Chaos Emeralds to collect and only two bosses to fight before the final boss. How are we going to get all three? It's pretty obvious that we're going to give you this one at the end of this level. But Jesus Christ, Planet Wisps, no. <laughs> Planet, no. No Wisps. And they only carried over two power-ups. The Spikes one for 2D Sonic and the Rocket one for 3D Sonic, which you can only use on a 2D plane. So that's good. <laughs> Kinda weird, but whatever, man. I don't get to make all the rules. Although, honestly, I was never much of a fan of with the Wisp power-ups to begin with. I mean, it was a neat gimmick, but I felt like it should have stayed in Sonic Colors. I just... not something I care about. They're, 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 they're like, fun for Sonic Colors, but they were designed around Sonic Colors. And I feel like adding them into games after Sonic Colors is just trying to shoehorn in a gimmick that doesn't necessarily need to be there. Like, for this level, yeah, it makes sense. It's fine, but... Like, in Sonic Lost Worlds, you can find a few of the Wisps all over the place, and I just don't think, I, I just, I just, I, I don't think the Wisps belong outside of Sonic Colors. The power-ups are neat, but they were just a gimmick, that's all they were to begin with. And, to be honest, they kind of take away elements that you could focus on, you know, other level designs. Or they t take away, like... They take away effort and time and money that you could focus on other things instead of designing levels around Wisp power-ups that shouldn't even be in this game. Jeez, I sound like a broken record. It's a good thing I wasn't born in the 50s, otherwise it'd take me to a record repair shop. Aha, that'd be funny if I didn't say the broken record joke beforehand. And then just tried to let you figure out what I was talking about. Uh, wall jumping puzzles, please work with me. Platforming puzzles, please work with me. Rocket, get the hell out of there. Yeesh. I have also gotten to be kind of familiar with this level too, and I'm gonna come over here and show you how to get the uh, red ring if you want it. You just have to hop up there. I didn't get it, I'm not gonna wait around for the platform to respawn, but you can get it if you jump up there. That's, that's one of the five. Like I said, I won't collect them all, but I'll show you where they all, or where the ones are that I happen to pass. And then hopefully I'll show you what the uh, end game looks like, if you're still waiting for that. I missed. Go! Get out of here. <laughs> I do not like Planet Wisp. It is bad level. <laughs> and again, when I say bad, I mean bad compared to the rest of the levels, not necessarily bad compared to all Sonic levels. In fact, frankly, if we're comparing all Sonic games, these are all relatively decent levels. Just Planet Wisp is excessively long! And excessively unfair. He says as he does multitudes of things that are attributed only to him because only he could cause them to happen. <laughs> yeah, 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 stop rubbing it in, I know I'm terrible. Damn it, Planet Wisp! How dare you cheat me out of my rocket! You know, I actually think I took six minutes to beat this level. <laughs> uh, you freaking pickaxe-throwing bastard! There was no way I could have reacted to that. Also, hitting those red rings is a lot harder than it might look. 
Damn it. Don't jump. Now jump. Why didn't you jump? Jump now. Rocket. Use it. Or don't. Ignore it. Go this way. Um, I don't know why I didn't take damage from that, but I mean, we'll go with it. Ooh, that was close. I would have gotten riggedy riggedy wrecked. Rocket power up with another rocket power up because I'm awesome like that. Got to use that rocket power up because I'm awesome like that. Even though I didn't make it. I can still pretend I'm awesome, right? Ugh. Jeez, getting through these getting through Planet Wisp is <laughs> It's like sitting through the Olympics. It's dull, it's boring, it's painful, it's a pain in the ass. In more ways than one. And you really, really, really better make sure you have something to drink, because you're not gonna get through this without having something to snack on. Oh my god. Sonic Team, next time you make a final level, don't make it this long, or if you're gonna make it this long, don't rely on the last, like, three minutes of the level on Planet Wisp power-ups. Because, especially the rocket power-up, it's not fun. It's, it's, it's mostly just a painful gimmick that shows that you've run out of ideas. I do not like the rocket. <laughs> and again, like I said, it makes sense for the level, but I just, I, I, I don't like the concept behind it adding it into this game. It's just, no. But, as we are ascending the level at the very end, just spamming rocket power-ups over and over and over. Because Sonic cannot run up walls at 90 degree angles. We have finally reached the end! Quick! Make it! Make it! We made it! And we got an S rank! One second before we couldn't get the S rank. Because I think six o'clock is what uh you need or six o'clock or six minutes is what you need to beat for an S rank? I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> anyway, we have recolored the planet, and I'm gonna let you enjoy this cutscene with the B. Dude, there's the emerald. Because somebody took me, but now I'm free! I'm a free bee! Free bee! Free bee! Wee! Sonic, hands down, that is the only reaction that you can possibly find oh, appropriate hey. when you free Charmy. Oh god. Ugh. What is with all this lag? Oh yeah, that's right. So, uh, we're just going to add the red emerald to our little emerald radar. We go back to the game, and it's going to show up and say that we got the emerald. And with that, guys, I will see you next time. This was episode 8 of my Let's Play as Sonic Generations. I'm Nobody, and next time, we do the last set of side missions. Until then, peace.